Okay, so we are working today with Boost Mobile. Let's go to some steps to fix a slow uh, data connection, slow internet, and also if you experience a lot of drop calls and or your phone just uh, turns off itself, let's go to uh, some steps to fix this, this problem, okay? So the quick solution here is just go ahead and reboot your phone. And then after um, rebooting your phone, uh, remove the SIM card, okay, put it back in, wait five seconds, put it back in, and then start over again with uh, reboot the phone. And if it doesn't uh, show any difference on your uh, notification bar, then just uh, let's go to settings to work on other steps. Second quick solution is going to be, let's go to settings and find system updates. Okay, at the bottom of system updates, you're going to find update PRL and update profile. Let's go and update PRL. And PRL is a roaming preferred list. Let's uh, check if your phone has, is um, set correctly to the roaming. Roaming is when you are outside of uh, Boost Mobile uh, coverage area or 4G coverage, uh, coverage area. And uh, on this case, the, you can use like Sprint Towers, Verizon, well not Sprint because now it's T-Mobile, but T-Mobile uh, Towers and Verizon, AT&T, any other uh, companies that they have a uh, contract with. So refreshing team data, okay, PRL has been operated, press OK to continue, okay, and now let's go and update. Uh, profile. Okay, it's going to take a few, um, up to one minute, so just be patient. And once the update profile is finished, then uh, you have to see some uh, difference on your notification bar, okay? So, right there is changing, searching the signals. And it is important that you have to check uh, the how many bars you have on, on your antenna network. Okay, like that I have like three, I get four, three, which is a good, good signal. Okay, so this is going to run uh, for a while, okay, up to one minute or, or even two minutes. Just give the phone the time enough to um, update your profile. Okay, you're going to see this message and then just hit OK. That means that it was properly uh, updated with no problem. So now, uh, if you would like to, let's go back to this, this section and let's go in at the very top of the screen. Let's go and select um, and find connections. Okay, so connections, and then let's go and select mobile networks. Mobile networks now here. I, if you notice in this area that you are on roaming and uh, it shows 3G and make sure that roaming is on okay uh, I know there's an additional charger will be uh, will be applied but uh, if you have the $60 rate plan unlimited with boost mobile you should be able to use data roaming okay I have the $50 rate plan that's why I don't have any uh, data roaming but you have 60 make sure that this one is on because that means that you are allowed to uh, go to the internet when you are outside of boost mobile coverage area using towers or another companies okay now let's go back in this section and let's go and select network mode so make sure that you are on the lte slash cdma to use the lte uh, network uh, probably if you are in CDMA, then um, that, that, that will be cause that you are only on a roaming area and your phone will cause that the data or internet connection is slow and you, you get a lot of drop calls or even you are on the phone and the other person is, is struggling to listen to your voice. And so just um, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to have a roaming um 3G. So let's go back to the, this uh, menu and let's select GSM.
uh, GSM units. And now we have the opportunity to uh, select the um, network operators manually so you can register your semicolon to the tower. So let's go and select network operators and select manually. And your phone will start searching uh, towers around you. And it will, you will have a display in this section. Um, I think the first you're gonna, you're gonna see is T-Mobile since uh, uh, Boost Mobile went to Dish and then, but Dish has contract with T-Mobile Sprint to use uh, their towers for seven years uh, since the date they mer were merged together. So uh, you're gonna experience first, you're gonna see T-Mobile and then another companies maybe, but we have to select T-Mobile when that appears on the screen. So here also it's going to take a few uh, seconds, probably one to two minutes. And by the way, this is the Samsung Galaxy A20. I assume that it is the same uh, process with uh, LG phones or ZTE or Coolpad uh, smartphones from Boost Mobile. Okay, so now we uh, got AT&T and T-Mobile. So now we can uh, go ahead and select T-Mobile. And see at the bottom of the screen you should be uh, see any message like successfully registered on network or T-Mobile network okay and if you see any error registering on the bottom of your screen that means that something uh, still uh, is not working properly so just uh, take off your sim card and I'm gonna show you after uh, all these steps how to make sure that this um, your SIM card is properly registered with the IMEA number or serial number of your phone. Okay, probably have to call Boost Mobile and um, make sure that uh, they're gonna verify if, like, unable to connect, try later. Okay, so let's go and select AT and and see what happens. And and if you get the same error with AT and just uh, go back. And let's uh, hit this again and go back to the LTE CDMA and your phone will uh, reboot. Okay, so let's hit OK. And then I just uh, wait for the phone to properly uh, reboot and that will help to um, to register your SIM card to the network as well. Okay, last uh, last option will be uh, if your phone is still not working properly, let's go back to settings and uh, general management and let's go and see reset options. Okay, so let's go and touch the reset and here you're going to find reset network settings and this reset, uh, it won't delete any pictures, videos or download applications, it's not, it, nothing about um, data your system data okay only you're gonna reset your network that means that you're gonna refresh um, your mobile data uh, bluetooth connection wi-fi connection so if you have any device bluetooth devices connected to your phone uh, after this reset you have to um, um, you have to enter the wi-fi password to connect to wi-fi and also you have to go uh, sync the Bluetooth to your device as well. Okay, so you are ready to do this. Just hit the reset settings and see the. And uh, so just enter your uh, lock screen to confirm. Enter your lock screen to confirm and just hit the reset key. And at the bottom of the screen, you have to see a message saying that uh, network settings reset has been complete and you are ready to um, reboot your phone again and hopefully that gonna help your uh, your connection problems on this um, from boost to mobile okay let me know if you have any other questions please subscribe to the channel and um, hit the like button any question you have in comment section thanks so much